Welcome back, Bonbons. This time, I'm going to show you how to temper like the pros and the show-offs. This is a pound, or just under half a kilo of chocolate. Chop it up into small pieces. There's a card in the right-hand corner for the previous tempering video if you'd like some tips on how to safely chop it up. This time, I'm not holding any chocolate back, it's all going into the bowl. Try not to bury your toothpick alive, though. I rescued it after all the chocolate was in the bowl. It didn't seem to be breathing, but it was functional for the bun marie. There are other ways to melt your chocolate, but I prefer the bun marie because I can use the residual warmth of the pot of water later. Once your chocolate is mostly melted, start checking the temperature. Ideally, you want it between 114 and 118 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 46 to 48 degrees Celsius. Check your room temperature. It should be between 60 and 65, or 16 and 18 degrees Celsius. And then grab your marble slab, your pellet knife, and the chocolate scraper. It needs to be marble for heat transfer reasons. Of course, don't use your marble countertop unless you don't care if it gets scratched. Pour roughly one third of your melted chocolate onto the slab. Agitate and cool the chocolate by spreading it around on the marble and then scraping it back up. Repeat this action until it starts getting thick. Right about here is where you would want to get it back in the bowl if you were doing it the traditional way. It's about 82 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit or 28 Celsius. It's still very liquidy as you can see, which makes it getting it back into the bowl much more difficult. I find that to be very messy, so I'm sharing my method with you. I do everything the same, but I cool mine to 77 to 79 Fahrenheit or 25 to 26 C. You can see it's a lot thicker and easier to scoop up at this temperature. Once the seed chocolate is added back to the bowl, the main chocolate is going to be cooled past the working temperature of 86 to 88 Fahrenheit. That's 30 to 31 Celsius, but that's okay. My chocolate dropped to 83 Fahrenheit or 28 degrees Celsius. The goal of tabling the chocolate was to create seed crystals. It's obvious that was accomplished because the chocolate started to get thick and harden at the edges while it was still in the marble. Put the bowl back on the still warm pot of water and stir until it comes back up to 86 or 88 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 30 to 31 degrees Celsius. All of these temperatures will be in the description box below, so don't worry about trying to remember them all right now. Once it's up to temperature, remove it from the heat whilst being careful not to get water anywhere. Water will make your chocolate seize. That is, it will clump up and it can't be fixed. You can use it for something else, like a water mousse or a sauce, so don't throw it away but it will never be able to be tempered again. Chocolate is a suspension of dry cacao particles and cacao fat. The water is sucked up by the dry cacao particles and they clump together. A similar principle is like a drop of water in a bowl of dry sugar. The surrounding sugar tries to get in on as much of that water as it can and it ends up creating a lump. And if you add enough water, you can turn the whole bowl of sugar into a syrup. I'm just pouring this into bar molds to show that it was tempered correctly. The excess chocolate will go into a convenient silicone mold so that it can be used again later. I didn't bother polishing this mold though, so you can see, even though it looked clear, there was still mineral residue from the wash water, and the chocolate took on the mirror image of it. It's not a big deal here because I'm just going to remelt these bars, but if you were to put a lot of work into making filled pieces for something like a gift, it would be an ugly blemish. There's a nice shine and a clean snap to the bars though, that tells you as well that it was tempered properly. You can practice tempering chocolate over and over with the same chocolate, whether you were successful or not, as long as it isn't scorched and it hasn't seized. Happy practicing! Subscribe for more sweet lessons. Bye bye bonbons.